It took several tries by police, but officers finally put a stop to a multi-county chase at around 9.30 Saturday morning. Officers were on the lookout for this silver sedan with Illinois license plates in connection to the gas station shooting in Lexington. A Lexington officer spotted the car heading north on Interstate 75 and pursued it. And Lexington officers also called up ahead to Scott County to ask for help. At that point in time, they had a, a place stop sticks out, a tire defa uh, deflation device to try to stop the eluding vehicle, and they were able to flatten the passenger side tires of that vehicle. But the driver didn't give up, continuing on for another few miles. On exit 129 of Interstate 75 northbound, Scott County police laid another set of spike strips to try to stop the vehicle they were chasing after. The vehicle was able to swerve around those strips but didn't make it much further, landing on the highway embankment, and that's when the chase came to an end. Police say the driver then got out of his vehicle with a gun. I heard somebody over the loudspeaker say, you know, uh, put your hands in the air and come out of the car, and then uh, gunfire, and that was pretty much over. Truck driver Jim Gatrell just happened to be at a nearby rest stop when he heard the commotion. Police confirmed they felt they had no choice but to open fire. He did not, apparently did not drop his firearm and brandished it towards the uh, sergeant and my deputy, at which time my deputy returned gunfire with the suspect and the suspect is deceased. At that point, the interstate became a crime scene. Police shut down all northbound lanes of Interstate 75 at exit 129 as they investigated until around 2 this afternoon. Covering the news in Scott County, Adam Weiner, LEXCT News. The Scott County deputy who fired the lethal shots has been placed on paid administrative leave, which is policy. Sheriff Tony Hampton says preliminary investigation shows the shooting was warranted. The shooting suspect hasn't yet been identified by authorities. The county coroner describes him as a 31-year-old man who does not appear to be from Kentucky.